Welcome back. This is lesson three of Machine Learning Zoom Camp Session three, and we will talk about setting up the validation framework. You probably saw this picture already many times. So we have the entire data set, and what we want to do is split it into three parts train, validation, and test. Right? And uh, we already implemented this uh, using uh, NumPy and uh, pandas previously like for the previous project so uh, typically we have this uh, 60 20 uh, 20 distribution right? and now we want to do the same but uh, with scikit-learn so scikit-learn is a library uh, python library that has uh, implementation of the most uh, popular and common uh, machine learning algorithms and in addition it has some uh, utilities helpful utilities and one of them is train test split, which we will use now. So for that, you need to have uh, scikit-learn installed. You know, from scikit-learn, uh, we need this uh, model selection package. And then we have a train uh, test split function there. So this is the function we want to use. Now if we want to um, see how um, the documentation for this function, there is a, um, a nice thing that you can do is add a question mark at the end and then uh, execute this cell and you will see the docs here. So we are interested in specifying this test size uh, parameter. So this is a, uh, this uh, says how large the test set should be. And for us, the, the test set is 20%. Uh, so we need to use 0.2 here. So we get our uh, data frame and we say that our test size is uh, 20% and uh, yeah so we also need to fix the random uh, random seed to make sure that the results are the results are reproducible so when you execute this code uh, on your computer you get the same results the thing here with this train test split uh, function splits the data into two parts training and testing right so only two so when we do this what we will have is uh, like when we said when we split using 20% so we'll have a, a test data set, uh, which is 20%, right? And the remaining, remaining 80% uh, will be the other part. So we can call it full train like we did previously. And uh, yeah, so it will contain 80% of uh, the data. What we will do uh, now to actually to have three uh, data sets, train, validation, and test, we will need to, sp to split it one more time. And then here uh, we will have uh, train and validation. Right, so let's uh, let's do that. So first we uh, do we split it into data frame full train and data frame test. Right. So we set the test size twenty percent, and random state is one. So now we have um, these two data frame test. We can look at their their sizes. So. Yeah, so for uh, the test data set, we have 1,400 uh, records. And now what we want to do is split uh, this full train uh, once again, right? We will split it into uh, train and validation. Um, but here we have a problem because we have to specify uh, here test size uh, 20%, and this will be 20% of the data frame full train, not from the original data set, right? So here we need to make it slightly bigger and to make it bigger so let's say here um, we want to have 60 percent here we want to have 20 percent so for us we need to know how much uh, 20 percent uh, out of 80 percent is and this is actually one four or 25 percent so for us if we want to get 20 percent of the original data frame we need to get 25 percent of the full train data set. Right? So now let's do that. So we get 25% and we can see, uh, uh, move it down. So let's uh, let's take a look at um, the length of, uh, so we need first uh, data frame train, data frame validation and data frame test. And we can see that uh, validation and test have the same size and train and data set is three is 4200 uh, rows so what we need to do now is we need to get our uh, y variables so that uh, even before that i think uh, like it 
we don't have to do this. I just think it's nicer when you see these indices are shuffled. So I, I like them not to be shuffled. Like again, it doesn't really have any effect on uh, on your models. I'm just like when it's sequential. So let's uh, do that and do that for uh, validation and uh, test as well. We do this reset index, and now we get our churn variable and write uh, write it into to a variable. So we again use uh, underlying numpy array. Uh, so here, y validation, y test, and here we use uh, data frame validation and data frame test. And we can already delete uh, these churn variables from our data frames. So let me copy this uh, data frame validation, data frame test. So now we deleted this variable. So it's not, uh, we don't have it here anymore. And um, I usually do this to avoid accidentally using this variable when uh, building a model. So we have that. So, and you notice that I didn't delete uh, this churn variable from data frame full, full uh, train uh, data set. And the reason for that is we will actually look at this target variable a little bit in the next lesson. Uh, so in the next lesson, we will uh, perform exploratory data analysis, we will, uh, check missing values, look at the target variable and things like this. And uh, see you soon.